Hi everyone and welcome in this video uh, we are going to learn how to configure syslog on a Palo Alto firewall from start to finish now we have this uh, Palo Alto one with us uh, as part of this um, topology and what we are going to do is we are going to have a syslog server on our management um, network let's um, assume this is the syslog server but I'll be installing an application on my local system for the syslog server which is called the power uh, power um, syslog server or, or you can have TFTP32 um, this is called the TF yeah I have this um, application called the TF TPD64. So you can download this and use the, as the SNMP, uh, sorry, the syslog server. Alright, um, so I am using this as the SNMP server, and uh, my Palo Alto device is going to send all the logs to this SNMP server. Right, um, but before jumping into configuration, let's understand what syslog is and why it matters. Alright, so I have just this slide desk uh, right um, so what exactly is syslog the term syslog stands for system logging and it's a standard protocol used to send log messages from a device like a firewall router or a switch to a log server uh, you can think of it like uh, like this whenever something happens on your firewall router or switch like a new login, a network connection, or a system alert, that event uh, gets logged. Right? It stores most of the devices stores the logs um, locally, but then these logs um, can and are usually sent to an external server, which where they can be stored, reviewed, and analyzed. Now, a uh, couple of things, right? Why we do this and how this helps. This basically helps with uh, troubleshooting issues, uh, doing RCA after the incidents like the root cause analysis um, and, and helps in security audits and also general monitoring. Right, So the uh, Palo Alto can generate uh, multiple types of logs like it can have generate the system logs which are related to the firewall hardware or OS example high CPU usage or hardware failure. Um, then you have the audit logs, track what administrators do, who logged in, what they changed and when. Traffic logs, um, show network traffic like source IP, destination IP, allowed or denied connections. Then you have the config logs, log any configuration changes. Right? Um, now, uh, syslog messages are assigned level of uh, levels of severity from 0 which is emergency to 7 which is debug. Has a, has a quick overview like zero emergency this uh, is like like both power supply failed or something like that uh, like the use case right and um, level one uh, is the alert which means immediate action needed for example data center AC failure or something like that mm, level two which is critical uh, relates to serious issues for example a memory failure or something uh, level 3 which is error uh, for example some interface is down so that's an error uh, level 4 is warning something unusual but not critical uh, level 5 notice uh, normal but important conditions uh, number 6 level 6 will be informational like general info like services started uh, level 7 debug detailed debug messages the lower the number the more important the message is Okay, so uh, now when you go to the configuration steps, uh, uh, it's quite simple. You go and create a server profile, then you, um, I mean, set the uh, uh, IP protocols, set IP protocol UDP and all those things. Then you uh, you go and apply this profile in the log forwarding profile and attach that to a policy, uh, security policy, right? 
so what happens is whatever is happening on the palo alto like your firewall is here you have inside and you have outside your dmz server all this traffic right these are like uh, events okay well if, if some traffic is generated from this uh device and hitting the palo alto and passing through whatever or even the palo alto itself is generating some traffic all that is going to be sent from the management interface to the syslog ip which is in our case is the 1.31 all right so let's move ahead and um, see how this is achieved in the lab that we have so we have this palo alto um, firewall so we'll go first of all the first thing that you need to do is you need to create a uh, uh, syslog uh, this uh, profile server profile so you go to device you go to server profile you have the syslog uh, server profile here add just name it let's say server syslog prof whatever you remember right? then you add the uh, server here you just name the this is like server syslog just so that we remember then you have the ip in my case it is 168.1.31 and udp and a port and this is the uh, i mean level of uh, uh, log that you want to share i want to share from 0 to uh, 7 so all of it right and then click on ok so this is the first thing that you do and then you have to go to the log settings here right here you have to add the log settings so just name it as sys uh, syslog Sorry, syslog um, setting something like this. Okay, then you add your um, mm, sorry syslog here. Okay. I'll delete this. That's all. You have uh, you can uh, filter here uh, with all the logs, or you can define the logs here as well. So I'm just uh, filtering all the logs. I want all the logs here. So I'll hit OK. So these are the two things you need to do here system um, in the server profile you create the profile you define the IP of these uh, the syslog server then you go to the log settings you add this to the log settings right then um, then you go to the uh, objects and then you have to go to the log forwarding here you have to create a profile okay so uh, say syslog forward prof okay and then you add the uh, profile so we can say here as this one syslog profile and this is like sys syslog forward done okay hit ok or you can add another one uh, for uh, let's say I had for traffic right then you can have a threat or other things as well authentication let's have a threat sys log forward um, threat again define the same thing click on ok Alright, this is step number three. Then you have to go to your policy and make sure that on the policy you are defining that log forwarding profile under the actions. Okay, so this one and hit on OK. So if I go here right now, you can see I don't see any uh, logs here. So we'll go and go and commit these changes on the Palo Alto device and we'll wait for this uh, commit to be completed all right as you can see once the uh, the commit was successful you can see the logs on the on the uh, syslog server uh, so for example let's go and and uh, i mean i can just create an object right i can just create an object let's say this is my not this one uh, address object okay but uh, what what i will do is i'll clear this okay and i'll create a server object i'll just name it 192 168 31 32 
okay and let's say 192 168 i think double dots are there so i'll just go here and let's say i will commit this change this is also a config change so i should see something happen here yeah so you can see it is saying this is a system log and then um, it's a commit job which was uh, done by the admin all those uh, details are here right so you can see that uh how the uh logs are being forwarded to, to the uh syslog server okay and that's it um now we have learned uh what syslog is how it works in a palo alto firewall and how to configure it properly i will see you in the next lecture and in, in the next lecture we will probably see how to configure the snmp server on the Palo Alto. So that's it for uh, for this video, and I will see you in the next lecture. Till then, bye bye.